morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm back, I'm feeling alive after a little YouTube hiatus but I'm back and I'm feeling good and I'm ready to vlog. I've just randomly picked up the camera in the middle of a workout so I'm currently doing Maeve Madden's hit arms and abs. She actually only put it up this morning. I'm obsessed. Like it's one of those workouts that like it's just fun. It's a fun workout. It's a dance workout. I feel like I'm on a disco and I'm loving it and it's really it's got the blood flow and it's got the endorphins and I'm just, it's really, it's literally got my serotonin levels like from here to here. I don't know if, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking rubbish but basically it's just put me in such a good mood and made me pick up the camera which I've really been reluctant to do for the past few weeks as you can probably tell from the fact that I haven't had a vlog up in a couple of weeks. But anyway, it's just made me, it's encouraged me to pick up the camera, do a vlog and get back to, back to YouTube. I'm not going to babble too much because I should get on with this workout because I'm halfway through. But why not time lapse? Because it's a fun workout, as I said, so you'll get to see me dance by myself in the middle of my living room. So that'll be fun to watch. Hopefully you can laugh at me making a fool of myself. And that'll be a good start to our Wednesday morning. It'll be Sunday for you guys, but it'll be Wednesday morning for me. So let's go. Let's finish this workout and feel strong and feel powerful and feel like we're going to change the world. It's a little bit later on now, it's actually a lot later on. It's about seven o'clock in the evening and the day literally just disappears. But yeah, we're down at the beach and it was, it's just nice and quiet and we thought we'd come for a lovely walk. And you can see the mountains and all in the background, it's so beautiful down here at Torella. Wanted to come on and update you guys about the day. So I kind of touched on it this morning that I didn't really feel much like vlogging over the past week or so I just kind of like I've been thinking a lot about like my purpose on the platform and like wanting my space on the internet to be something useful or something a bit more like sort of like what is my reason for taking up this space on the internet do you know what I mean and sort of thinking about that I just wanted to take a step back and really um consider what I'm kind of doing with my channel and with my blog and with all of that and yeah especially with everything going on at the minute I think it's just important to have a reason for what you're doing so yeah I feel like I didn't explain that very well but that's kind of why I wanted a little bit of a break from from YouTube because I didn't want it just to be a pointless taking up of space that's already quite saturated anyway we're just having a lovely lovely stroll how's you have you been on the vlog in a while oh you you were for a, you were on the last one that was a silly question oh, well, it's adam's birthday on friday no, it's by the time this vlogs up it'll already have happened big 25 quarter way to 100 Adam hates his birthday. But yeah, big 25. Very exciting. That doesn't sound like not acknowledging us. I know, but you weren't meant to hear that. He's <laughs> got the horses down on the beach. <laughs>
Good morning guys, so it is the next day now and as I mentioned yesterday it is Adam's birthday on Friday which is tomorrow so I'm gonna make him a wee birthday cake partly because I just really want cake but let's just say it's for Adam <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna make this rainbow rainbow chip party cake so this is just a pretty easy way out to make a cake like I'm not gonna lie I'm not really putting much effort in here but it's gonna taste good nonetheless and I'm gonna put the effort into the decorating so yeah I actually don't think I've ever had like a fun fatty cake before so I'm very excited for this and I think it'll be delicious so yeah and you can't really feel with Betty Crocker I feel like every time I've had Betty Crocker it has been a million times better than my own baking but let's not talk about that but yeah let's bake a cake together so this is super easy all we need is uh eggs oil water then icing and sprinkles but um that's kind of optional isn't it so yeah let's just get baking okay so let's dive into this cake mix do you know what i didn't i'm not even gonna lie I should probably keep my hair out of the bowl but um i didn't even really buy this for Adam's birthday i bought this a while back I can't remember what we were making oh goodness I think it was a while back but basically like there was an offer on it was like two for three pounds so I bought two instead of buying one and then this has been in our cupboard for a while so I was like easy way I like to make Adam's birthday cake yeah that sounds good so then I just bought the decorating stuff and the icing but I suppose I'm killing two birds with one stone I'm using up what we have in the cupboard I'm also being a great girlfriend making a birthday cake. And I also get cake. So it's really a win-win situation. Oh my goodness, this actually looks incredible. It's so fluffy. Oh, where do you see this? Can you see that? Oh my goodness. I actually kind of just want to eat it like that. Like I feel like if you just add water to that and it would be delicious. But um, that's not what we're doing. We're baking a cake. So we've added... It smells so good. Oh, cake batter. Oh, that smells incredible. Mix the eggs or oops. Okay, anyway, we need to add three medium free range eggs. Then we need to add 90 mils of vegetable oil. And then we need to add 180 mils of water. And then that's it. Kind of simple and easy. And now we just do the fun part, which is the mixing. So let's go. Oh my goodness, I don't want to eat it now. But you shouldn't eat raw eggs. Well, I actually don't know. Are you meant to eat raw eggs or what's the crack with that? Because I always thought like you don't eat raw eggs, raw eggs because you're going to get salmonella. And then all these fitness people started drinking raw eggs. And I was like, um, okay. Is that a thing we do now? Don't take my advice on the whole raw egg situation because I have no idea, but personally, I just feel like raw eggs are not something you're meant to eat. Oh, so there we have the cakes just out of the oven. They look, they look okay, <laughs> but they smell really good. Um, I, you, as you can see, it's a wee bit burnt there and it just feels a little bit light around the edges, um, which is kind of annoying, but I dug the knife in at the edges and it was cooked so yeah that's them out of the oven now i'm gonna go ahead and get in the bath while these cool down and then i'm gonna come and decorate them which is obviously the most fun part apart from the eating the eating's definitely the the pinnacle but in terms of making the cake we enjoy the decorating okay so it's about an hour later now the cakes have been extracted from the oven oh my goodness that looks so bad that is rather embarrassing. Maybe it's the light, kind of. This one looks a more even color. 
So yeah, they've been out of the oven about an hour and they've cooled down. So now it's time to decorate and ice. So I need to get them off this bottom plate first. This is the bit I hate because I just don't want to destroy the cake. Ah, this scares me so much. Okay, pretty clean. Pretty proud of that. Right, let's not get too cocky because we still have one more to do. Okay, I think we got too cocky. Yep, we got a wee bit too cocky. And we've lost a whole big bit of the cake. So I think we'll just scrape that off and pretend that didn't happen. At least this is like the top layer. So, or would this need to be the bottom layer? No, I think this can be the top layer. Okay. Well, I feel like that was overall pretty successful. Not too mad at that. We had a wee bit of a whoopsie, but it's not been my worst attempt at baking, let's just say that. So yeah, next up I'm going to grab my icing, which is another lazy girl thing that I've got. Oh my goodness, I've got cake all over the floor. Okay, so the icing I'm using is another wee Betty Crocker invention it's just this vanilla buttercream and what i'm going to do is mix in some of these sprinkles for the icing in the middle so these are hundreds and thousands i'm just going to mix them through the icing put that in the middle and then it'll just be plain vanilla icing on the outside that's my plan anyway and then i'm going to decorate it over the top so i think i'm just going to grab a big scoop of icing whack it in a bowl and mix in these all i want to do is just like uh, eat the whole thing. That probably looked like I just licked that. I promise I didn't. And we dive to the hundreds and thousands. Oh my goodness! It's so pretty. Will you see this? I feel like a child because this excites me. It looks like a scoop of ice cream with hundreds and thousands on it. Yummy! Let's mix that all up and then spread it on our cake. I want this to be the most fun, fun fairy cake ever. So Adam's turning 25 and this is gonna be literally like the biggest child's cake you've ever seen. But I'm cool with that because we're the, probably the biggest kids in the world. Well, he is anyway. He's probably at home right now playing games. Let's be real. So this will be my first time using my, is this a palette knife? Is this what you call this? because previously I've just used like a butter knife to spread icing on a cake and it has never really gone as planned. So I felt when I saw this one in Film Borgans that I would just pick it up because it was like a pound and I was like, that'll do the job. So let's spread her. Oh my goodness. I am so glad. I'm, I wish I was making this tomorrow, to be honest. I was going to say I'm so glad I'm making this today and didn't start making it earlier in the week because now I just cannot wait to eat it. Look at this. Doesn't that look delicious? So here we have a completed bottom layer. Doesn't it look delicious? Absolute birthday cake dreams. And now I just need to try and flip this bit on, which is the bit which has the bit that's fallen off and I'm really stressed about it, but let's give it a go. Oh my goodness, we can do it, we can do it. Let's just go for it. Woo, woo, we did it. Okay, now it's time to ice the rest of the cake. Yummy, 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 in my tummy. I can't wait to eat this cake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Adam, this message goes out to you. So I love you and all, but like, I don't know if I can give this cake up. I might have to keep it all for myself. So here we have all of my sweeties that we're going to use to decorate this very messy but very delicious looking cake and 
let's just dive in. I want to make it like pretty and cute, but I just don't want to get overexcited and literally just throw sweets at the cake. And let's just see what happens. Okay, so I think I've squeezed just about as many sweets as I can onto this cake and yeah it's not exactly the tidiest thing in the world but it looks pretty damn tasty so that's what we're going for and I'm buzzing about it so I'm gonna put this in the fridge for the icing and all to harden up and we can enjoy it tomorrow for Adam's big 25th birthday. Hello guys so it is now the next day which means it's Adam's big birthday! It's not Quarter to 100! Let's see your watch! Matchy matchy! We got the new Fitbit. You happy with it? Nah, I'll take it back. <laughs> what do you think of your cake? Uh, haven't had ha it yet, but you've seen it. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah, he and my dad says it looks like I dropped it in a pick and mix. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bad thing. Um, yeah. Um, to be fair, it was me and Betty Crocker kind of worked together on this one. I was gonna say, unless it's a Betty Crocker mix, because then you can't really go wrong. <laughs> yeah, Betty Crocker is the woman. So you cheaped out. She is the goat. You cheaped out. Did not cheap out. Betty Crocker's not cheap, man. Um, I don't think cheap is a good one. Effort wise, yeah, we bet. We bet. But it'll taste good. It was like a guaranteed this is gonna taste good kind of situation. Yeah, that's right. Um well let's let's not jinx ourselves right now, we haven't tried it yet. But yeah, we're gonna get some pizza from the portions news tonight, so I'm very excited about that. And that's really it. Not nothing too exciting. Birthdays in lockdown aren't anything crazy. Just the bed, I guess. Mm. And I, I my card hasn't arrived yet. Right. My card free hasn't arrived yet, which is sad. It's a good card. Aww. But yeah, we're just stuck for a wee walk. Wee oh birthday, we dander. To build up our appetite for our pizza. We've still got like an hour to wait. There's so many Robins in the park today. How do you know? Have you been asking every bloke his name? <laughs> Rot <Rutford>. bird. <laughs> A little bit later on and we've just got our food picked up i'm so excited about this how are you feeling about pizza hungry. so hungry oh my word i already had a chicken wing what do you see this cost thing adam doesn't like chicken booms but chicken wings are incredible and they're so nice this first time i've had pizza from the portion snows and i'm buzzing about it because it looks insane this first time you've ever had what it's so good. I've had Christmas dinner from it before and it's amazing. I've actually went with my dad before as well. I got like a steak sandwich. 10 out of 10, we get it again. Steak Very good. Sandwich. So good. Right, I'll show you when we actually can open them. Oh my goodness, this actually looks so good and I'm so buzzing for it. Mm. Lots of garlic mayo. Yummy.